In this demo, we'll create a cloud function that listens for messages to a pub subtopic. It'll take in a message and translate it into Spanish. So here I am in my project. The first thing I'm going to have to do is create the pub subtopic. So let's go to the menu and scroll down to the big data section where we'll find PubSub. Creating a topic is easy. We'll just click Create Topic and we'll call this the Translate Topic. Now I'm ready to create my function. So let's go to the menu and find the Compute section and click Cloud Functions and click Create Function. We'll call this one Translate Function. We can pick a region, we'll pick US East 4, and then the type of trigger, which in this case will be Cloud PubSub. And then of course we have to set select the topic that we just created and click Save. Next we'll create our source code. I'm going to program this in Node.js and I'm going to pick the latest Node.js runtime. And then we'll have to supply at minimum two things. The index.js file that's the file that creates that has the function and then the package.json file that specifies which libraries we're going to need to add. So let's start with the index.js file. So here's my code. Let me just grab all that code and then we'll paste it right here. Now what the code does is it imports the translate API and then here is the actual function that we're creating. And what happens is when the pub sub or when a pub sub message is sent, that message is sent to this event argument event. And then we can grab the message itself with the event.data property. We're going to translate into Spanish, hence the target varia variable. And then this just takes the message that is sent to pub sub and converts it into a string. So this is the text we're translating, and we're going to translate into Spanish. Then we're going to use our translate client, and we'll just call translate, and then we'll specify the text and the target. And when that completes, it'll, res it'll send the results back in this array. Now we're not going to do much with the translated text. All we're going to do is log it. So I'm going to log the text that was sent, and then I'll log the translation here. I guess if we could log it, we could do anything else we wanted to with it. Anyway, that's the code, and then I'm going to have to import the right libraries. So I'll just paste that as well from my code editor. Oh, and the one other thing that I need to set is this entry point function name right here. If we go look in my code, in index.js, notice I'm exporting translate, which is the, this is the name of my function, translate. So let me just copy that and paste it here. And then we'll click deploy and give it a couple minutes to be ready. Okay, my cloud function is ready. Let's test it out. So let's go back to PubSub right here. And we'll click on our topic and we're just going to send a message in. So we're going to publish message and we'll just take a couple paragraphs out of the Wizard of Oz. And hit publish. Now we'll switch back to Cloud Functions. And there's our function. And we'll click on logs. And then if we scroll down, there's our, there's the text that we've sent in. Dorothy began to fear they were getting a good way, etc. And then here's the translation into Spanish. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, in this demo, I showed you how to create a cloud function that triggers on a PubSub message. This is Doug Renstrom with ROI Training.